Hello, welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Rachel. I'm a certified yoga teacher and I specialize in yoga for chronic pain and chronic illness. And today we're doing a supine yoga class for SI joint pain. These are the exercises that I do in my own practice about once a week. And I find that they help so, so much with my SI joint pain. You'll need a couple of props for this class. I'm using a yoga block, but if you don't have a yoga block, you can use a thick rolled up towel. And I'm also using a yoga strap, but if you don't have a yoga strap, you can just grab a belt out of your closet and call it good. And we'll go ahead and get started. This entire practice is done supine, so lying down on your back. Doing this class on the floor is going to be a little bit more supportive, but if you can't get down to the floor, doing this practice in bed is okay too. Bend the knees so that the feet are flat on the surface beneath you. All ten toes point straight forward. Heels line up with the hip bones. And the hips line up with the shoulders. Let the spine come into alignment. And relax. Let the hands rest alongside the body or bring the palms to your belly so that you can feel the rise and fall of your inhales and exhales. Breathe in and out at your own pace through the nose or the mouth. And just let the breath be easy and natural. Now, I'll demonstrate two ways you can do our first exercise. The first option is to take your yoga strap and lasso it around the backs of your thighs. Shoulders stay connected and relaxed against the floor. On your exhale, you'll bring the knees in closer to your chest. Inhale, straighten the elbows, knees pull away from your face. If holding on with the strap feels awkward, you can just hold on to the backs of your thighs with your hands. Same movement. Inhale, the knees fall away from your face. Exhale, knees toward the chest. This isn't a huge movement. Keep it gentle and relaxed. You likely won't feel a whole lot of sensation here, but this repetitive movement helps to release the fascia in the lower back, which can help to alleviate any lower back or SI joint pain. Keep going at your own pace. And remember, if anything in this class hurts or just doesn't feel right, don't do it. You should listen to your body. Finish your last cycle of breath. 
and then release your thighs, lower the feet back down to the floor. Set aside your yoga strap if you are using one. And just take a breath, notice how you feel. You'll need a yoga block or a folded up towel for our next exercise. Pick the feet up off the floor and place your prop between your thighs. Knees come up, but not quite all the way into the chest. Take a deep breath in. Then exhale, squeeze the thighs together like you're trying to crush whatever prop is between your thighs. Breathe as you need to. Keep squeezing. Firm, but not so hard that you hurt yourself. And then relax, lower the feet back down. Rest for just a moment. We'll repeat this two more times. So bring your prop back between your thighs and squeeze. This helps to reset the SI joints. Keep squeezing and relax. Breathe. And last time, prop between the thighs. Squeeze the knees together. Breathe as you need to. And relax. Set your prop to the side. For our next exercise, you can watch me first and then join in. To start, pick the right foot up off the floor. And it's like you're trying to push your knee away from you even as the knee is fighting to come closer to your face. So we have opposing forces here. If the palm of the hand doesn't reach the top of the thigh, you can place a yoga block between them. After just a few seconds, we'll switch that to the other side. So the left hand finds the left thigh or there's a yoga block between the hand and the thigh. Hold for a few seconds, apply that pressure, then lower the leg back down. So now joining in, start with the right leg. Apply that pressure, just a few seconds, three, two, one, and left leg now. Push, 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 three, two, one. Lower that leg back down and back to the right leg. Three, two, one. Lower that leg back down and left leg. Three, two, one. Lower that leg back down. Take a brief moment to rest now. We have just one exercise left. For our last exercise, you'll need your yoga strap. Lasso the strap around the backs of your thighs, with the feet up off the floor. This exercise is the opposite of the last one. So here you're pulling on the strap with your hands as you're simultaneously trying to pull the feet and knees away from your face. So we're creating opposing forces again. Hold that for just a moment, and then lower the feet back down, pause, rest. Again, lift the feet, pull on the strap, activate the legs, breathe here as you need to, then relax. Last time, Pick the feet up off the floor, pull on the strap, pull the belly button in toward your spine so you're anchored to the floor, and relax. Set your yoga strap off to the side. Let the hands rest wherever they're comfortable. 
You can rest here for as long as you would like. And then whenever you're ready, roll yourself over onto your side. And take your time coming all the way up to a seated position. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. If you have enjoyed this class, please give it a thumbs up so it can reach more people. And don't forget to sign up for your free Spoonie Yoga Essentials Kit. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And when you sign up for that, you also get access to our private community where you can connect with me and other Spoonies. And I hope to see you there. Okay, ready? Downward dog. Downward dog. Good girl. <laughs>